Hello, Erev Tov. Tonight we celebrate Rosh Chodesh Adar. And I thought it made sense to give you a tour of the special days, the Chagim. In Chodesh Adar, there's a lot going on this month. Some special smachot in our community as well. So let's just do a quick overview. Let me give you a tour of Chodesh Adar. So tonight we start Rosh Chodesh. It's a two-day Rosh Chodesh. We insert Ya'alev Yavo. We'll recite Hallel both tomorrow as well as on Shabbat. And this Shabbat is the first of five upcoming special Shabbatot. This Shabbat is called Shabbat Parashat Shkalim. We'll read Parashat Mishpatim, and then we'll read Parashat Shkalim, which talks about the dedication, the donation of, uh, of the Machatzit Shekel to the Beit HaMikdash. And this would replenish the funds for the Korbanot every single year. And they would do this before entering Chodesh Nisan, when they needed more money for the Korban Pesach and other, uh, other Korbanot. This is also the Shabbat that, uh, that uh, Levi Keat and Ori Ginsberg are celebrating their bar and bat mitzvot. So mazal tov to, uh, to them. After the Shabbat, we'll move on to this coming Thursday. And a week from today, this Thursday, is the Zvav Adar, Zayin, excuse me, Zayin Adar. This is the, both the birth date and uh, the Petira of Moshe Rabbeinu, who lived exactly 120 years. This is also a day in which we remember the Chalalei Tzahal, uh, whose uh, burial places we don't, uh, we don't know about. And so we remember them as well, along with Moshe Rabbeinu, which takes us to the second Shabbat of, uh, of Chodesh Adar, and this is Shabbat Parashat Zachor. We read Parashat Zachor to remember the terrible things that Amalek did to us as we were leaving Mitzrayim. This, this parasha is read from Parashat Ki Tetzeh, and it's a mitzvah midoraita, according to many commentators, to hear this. Women also have the custom to come and, and hear this. We will have many readings throughout Shabbat of Parashat Zachor in the plaza of the shul, as well as in the, uh, the park Minyanim, so that everybody can come and hear Parashat Zachor in small and small groups. If for whatever reason you can't hear it, um, you could either read it out of, out of a chumash at home, or you can come and listen to Parashat Ki over the summer, or even listen to the Kriyat HaTorah Vayavo Amalek on Purim Day itself. The Shabbat is also, Parashat Zachor, the Bar Mitzvah of Yakir Wiesenberg, so Mazal Tov to the Wiesenbergs on their son's Bar Mitzvah. That's the second Shabbat in, uh, in Chodesh Adar. And moving on, a few days after Parshat Zachor, Shabbat Zachor, we will celebrate Purim. Purim is really interesting and complicated this year. Here in Ranana, we're going to celebrate Purim on a Thursday night, Friday. So that means that Thursday, Yom Chamishi will be Ta'anit Esther. Everybody will fast. We'll read the Megillah at night on Thursday night. And then Friday, we will give Mishloach Manot, Matanot Lev Yonim, read the Megillah again, and also have a Purim Su'uda. How are we going to do these things this year? Friday, strange time to celebrate Purim. The answer is Matanot Lev Yonim, first of all, because of Corona. We're going to do everything online. So stay tuned for those emails to, to pay on Paybox or on Bit, whatever it is, and we'll take out the money and give it to Anim on that day. Mishloch Manot, we also have a program set up, but you have to give Mishloch Manot to two different people. You can give it to a neighbor, give it to some friends, but it's not good to do an excessive version of Mishloch Manot this year because of, uh, because of Corona. And the Su'udat Purim actually has to be eaten earlier in the day, before Chatzot. You don't want to be too filled up going into Shabbat. You want to be hungry going into Shabbat. So we have the Su'udah in the morning. There is one opinion that you could have the Su'udah start it right before Shabbat, stop, take a break, Davin Mincha and Arvit, and then continue into Shabbat itself. The opinion is out there. For those who need to follow this, we will send out details so you can know what to do. And that's going to be Purim itself. And that Shabbat is a, we'll call it a regular Shabbat, but following Purim will be on a higher spiritual uh, place. And it's also the Bar Mitzvah of Orel Adler. So Mazal Tov to the, uh, to the Adler family. But that's all in Ranana. In Yerushalayim, it's going to be very different because we have something called Purim Mishulash. Purim Mishulash means that when Purim falls out in Yerushalayim on Shabbat itself, it changes, everything's changed, the rules change. And Purim is split into three different days, Friday, Shabbat, and Sunday. On Friday, and Thursday night and Friday, they read the Megillah. So we move Megillah reading up from Shabbat to Friday because you can't read the Megillah on Shabbat. And Matanot Lev Yonim, because all the Anim come to the Megillah reading, you give Matanot Lev Yonim. But on Shabbat itself... You then, uh, you then insert Al Hanisim into the Tfilot, if you happen to be in Yerushalayim, and you read Vayavo Amalek, the, the part of the Torah, which connects to Purim. And finally on Sunday, on Sunday you have the Sudat Purim, Mishloach Manot, so it's a three days of, uh, of Purim, and it's a beautiful experience for those who will be in Yerushalayim for all of these, uh, all of these days. 
I also want to make clear that we will make sure that everyone in our community can hear the Megillah, either in person in small groups in the Rechavav, the Beit Knesset, or in the Park Minyanim. And if not for those who cannot make it to these two locations or these multiple locations, we'll do something on Zoom uh, for you. Uh, there will also be uh, women readings both at night and during the day. So everybody will be able to celebrate Purim. And no matter what, this year, we're going we're gonna to make sure everybody can. The next Shabbat after Purim is Shabbat uh, Titzaveh. Uh, sorry, we spoke about that already. The next Shabbat after that is uh, the eight days after, after Purim is Shabbat Parashat Kitisa and Parashat Parah. We read about the Parah Duma because it was during this time in the year that they would uh, get ready to purify people to go up to Harabai to, to perform Aliyah Le Regel during Pesach. So they had to purify people and they would sacrifice or burn a Parah Duma. So we read about the Parah Duma, the red heifer on that Shabbat. Also a very important halacha. Some say it's a Torah obligation. So we do everything we can to come and hear that reading in particular. Again, we'll have multiple readings in the Beit Knesset. And finally, on Shabbat, March 13th, is Parashat Vayakel Pekudei HaChodesh. We read about the, uh, you know, Chodesh Nisan, the first mitzvah given to the Jewish people, which also speaks about Pesach Mitzrayim, right as we're on the cusp of getting into Chodesh Nisan. This is the Bat Mitzvah. Of, uh, of Talia Jacobs, Mazal Tov to the Jacobs family. It's also a special Shabbat for us at Shifte. It's the memorial Shabbat for Rabbi Beller, Zatzal, and we will commemorate him uh, this, uh, this Shabbat, his fifth yurt site. So many exciting things coming, uh, coming your way these next, few, uh, these next few weeks. I wanted to give you an overview so that you know what's coming. We will send out more specific guidelines as we get closer to it. Wishing you all Chodesh Tov. Misha Nichnas Adam Rabbi Misimcha, Misha, 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 Nichnas Adar. We should have lots of Simcha for us and all of Am Yisrael this coming Purim. Wishing you a great day. Erev Tov, Vishabbat Shalom.